Org. Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin. And over there, we have John Lewandowski. Depending on which side you're looking at, he's... Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Uh, this is our first Zoom meeting, so please bear with us. We're also trying to figure out this, the virtual backdrops on Zoom. Um, so yep. bear with us. We're trying to get the lighting and everything figured out, but we'll get there. Anyway, um, we would like to wish well wishes to Aaron Eckblad. It looks like at this point, a definite ankle injury and a potential knee. His ankle went 360 degrees and his knee went with it. <laughs> so Never I wish- a good him sign when someone gets carted off like that. We wish him the best. Also with them being in a playoff hunt, they may be looking for a defenseman along with being Nashville still being in. They're not 100% in. There are two, there's still three teams behind them within grabbing range. So it's kind of hard to become buyers, but it's also hard to become sellers at this point. Right. You're in the middle right now. You're really in that, do I want to buy in again and give up more or do I want to just stay pat and see what happens? Right. Do I move a couple people that are on the end of their contract just to get something back? I mean, all that comes into play. And right. It's a it, it's a tough time right now. Yeah, and and you're you're what, a little over five hundred. You know, that's it's tough. Twenty uh, games uh, remain. Yeah, every one of them crucial between now and April twelfth. Oh yeah. Because. Every one of them's crucial. If we could get a little bit of a lead, keep winning a little bit. Uh, that's five in a row, by the way. You know, yep. Booker T, five, five times, five times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta have a little fun when you do this stuff. I uh, also want to thank, like I said on camera last time, Ultimate Predator for the Tim Peel video. Um, that that was uh, uh, he tweeted out. I won. He wondered if anybody was going to do it. Within thirty seconds of his tweet, I said, "Gotcha." <laughs> so. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Uh, you know, um, it's just one of those things where you got to take, you got to handle business, and and uh, as we always say, the show goes on. So, yep. Thanks, John, for uh, helping when you can. Oh yeah, no problem. Thanks All for right. me. Well, no problem. You love hockey as much as the next person I know. <laughs> he loves it more. Uh. But anyway, the uh, Nashville Predators outshot the Blackhawks, uh, 31, 30, uh, 31 to 29, uh, was pretty even there. Uh, Blackhawks had a faceoff percentage of 55 to 45 um, for the Blackhawks, uh, a little better there for them than the last couple games. Um, both teams were 0 for on the power play, uh, Nashville 0 for 1, uh, Chicago 0 for 3. Um, penalty minutes were 8-4 unfortunately in favor of nashville uh hits were 39 25 nashville this was a very physical 64 game. hits in total very physical game yes um also uh block shots were 14 13 in favor of the blackhawks but you wouldn't notice it by uh the by the score by when we're done um uh then uh giveaways were 13 apiece very on uh it seemed like these guys were running on fumes almost. Running on fumes, yeah. All righty. Exhaustion. Uh, then they got a couple shifts out there where guys are on the ice minute and a half, two minutes while Chicago is in the zone. I mean, got to get better. You don't want to get stuck out there, but you don't want to, you know, if you're going to get stuck out there, there are certain lines you want stuck out there and there's right. certain ones you don't. Um, That, that uh, Grandland, uh, was that Grandland? No, uh, the uh, Sissons, Trenin, Olivier line is one of them. Right. Yeah, they have just been producing. If not even if it, it producing doesn't just mean the scoreboard, folks. Right, it doesn't. <laughs> um, let's just put it this way: Trenin, uh, Trenin had four hits, one block, and one giveaway, along with th two shots on goal. Um, let's just talk, we're just talking this line, that line alone. Um, Olivier had two shots on goal and two hits and Sissons had six hits, no shots on goal, no giveaways, one takeaway. So with that being said, there's plenty of room for what they've done. They're producing in the hits category and that is so important. All yeah. right. Let's get into the scoring in the first, uh, John, if you want. 
Yeah, okay. Back. We had Victor Arvid saying on oh, this fifth goal unassisted at 4.43 into the first period. Um, Callie Yarncroak, uh, his 10th assisted by Ekholm, which it was his 10th assist, and Kunin, which it was his sixth. That was at 18.30 in the first period. Uh, uh, scoring in the second was nothing. It was kind of a blah second period. It really was. It, it was it, more of a feeler. I think it was more of a physical, let's try and, you know, Nashville tried to wear them down. And unfortunately, you know, that's what you want to do in the third. In the second, right. you kind of want to use your speed to kind of slow them up a little bit. In the third, you put the hammer down. But, yeah, no, it, it, it is, they did it last night to them, so, and it worked, so. I think they just went back to the well a little bit too much. And with that being said, uh, Alex Debrinkit in the third was the show for them. Uh, Alex Debrinkit yeah. had scored his 17th and 18th. Um, uh, his, his 17th was at the 735 mark with an assist by uh, Patrick Kane, his 35th, and Pius Suter, his sixth. And Suter also uh, assisted at the 18th goal at the 925 mark. With that being said, Suter and Tolvanen are in a race for second place in rookie points. Wow. So that those two battling it out, putting up points and and trying to get those points in, they're they're trying there. Yeah. All righty. Uh scoring in the third was uh Roman Yossi with his third. Um he had very few um <laughs> he had very few chances since returning from injury to score goals. Um, however, uh, it makes it very difficult to do so when when you have guys like Akom and that that uh, that are back and forth with you. Right. Um, <laughs> um, your assist was Ily Tolvanen and Victor Arvidsson, Tolvanen's eighth and Arvidsson's twelfth. Uh, if I remember reading something correctly, in Tolvanen's last five games, he has seven points. Which is yeah. it is very good stat to have. Um, and um, uh, for those of you with a worry, um, I believe Saros is out day to day with fatigue. They say upper body, which probably is fatigue. Um, so uh, Pecorine got the nod today. Kazmir Kaskasuo got the recall from the taxi squad based on injury. Um, uh, Pecorine stopped uh, 27 of 29, stopping uh, 26 of 28 on even strength, one of one on the power play with a save percentage of 0.931. Full 60 minute ice time on ice. It uh, was good to see, uh, who was that? Uh, Zadorov. Was yeah. that who hit Pekka mistakenly? Yeah. It was good to see him go up to Pekka and apologize. Yeah, it is a it is a moment where you you can kind of have that feeling of that, um, but that's just that you know you don't you you got that feeling you know that doesn't mean that his teammates forgot. Right. Let's just say that because <laughs> Johansson took a penalty just because of just because right. he could. Um, so with that being said, uh, Johansson uh, took a two minute cross check to the back. Um, you know, that was kind of just a, I don't appreciate that kind of kind of move. It wasn't like he was trying to hurt somebody or anything. Right. It was just a, I don't like what you're doing. Now you're off. Um, in net for Chicago was Malcolm Subban. Malcolm Subban stopped uh, 27 of 30 on even strength and one of one shorthanded. Uh, with a save percentage of 0 0.903, with a time on ice of 58, point, uh, 58 minutes, 39 seconds. Um, your referees were Wes McCauley and Justin St. Pierre. Uh, linesmen were Brendan Gorlitz and Tony Sorello. Uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for Chicago is former Rockford Ice Hogs coach Jeremy Collington. Uh, scratches tonight were uh, Phil Forsberg, uh, Jeremy Davies, UC Saros, and Mark Boroveski. Um, Forsberg, Saros, and Boroveski are day to day. Jeremy Davies was a healthy scratch. Um, and that was barring Benning could not go today. 
Um, scratches for Chicago were Dylan Strom and Colin Delia, along with Lucas Walmart. Dylan Strom was out with uh, um, allow, uh, congratulations to the Strom family, by the way. Uh, they had a baby girl this morning, so that is why he was out. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie, congratulations. Um, so with that being said, uh, you know, those things are uh, all in uh, the, the, that category. Um, me and John will probably be around probably either in the next few days. Um, I know I owe you all in the system. I will teach him how that works over the next few days. Yeah. So that will be coming. We're working on some stuff. Uh, if you noticed, we're both welcoming this stuff in. So we're trying and he will be here next to me as much as he can, as long as I don't have to drive back and forth sometimes. <laughs> right. <laughs> But with that being said, uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Hockey Locker, you can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. The Milwaukee Admiral season in 2021-22 will start in October. You can buy tickets now at milwaukeeadmirals.com or call them at 414-227-0550. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook for all updated content. Thank you and have a wonderful week, the rest of your weekend. See y'all later.